just a disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Maybelline. It's just that I have a lot of Maybelline products. This is gonna be my first makeup tutorial. I have so much love for makeup, but I'm just not quite sure how to film it or what look to film. So now I've decided to this look. This is a pink monochromatic makeup look. I chose this because it's super fun, so easy and simple. Also the products that I'm going to use in this video are all from the drugstore and very much available here in the Philippines. This is for you guys who loves the color pink or just wants to rock a full face shades of pink. So let's go get started. First things first, I need some hydration and also going to put on some lip balm to prep the lips. I'm going to start with my base and for primer, I'm going to use this Quick Effect Snow Shine Mattifier and put it on the areas that I'm more oily. In short, my T-zone and my cheeks. Let's hop on to the eyebrows and I'm using the Nature Republic Auto Eyebrow and I am in the shade 02 Dark Brown. For foundation, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte Plus Poreless in the shade 125 Nude Beige. I'll be using my fingers to dot it all over the face and a beauty sponge to blend it all in. You guys, this is the bomb. I highly recommend you guys try this out. For concealer, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me and I'm in the shade 20 Sand Sable. I need to cover up my blemishes, acne scars, and dark circles. To set everything in place, I'm going to use another Maybelline product and this is the Clear Smooth All-in-One UV Lightning Oil Control 2-Way Cake. It has SPF 32 PA++++. I don't know what that means but it sounds good. And this is in the shade 02 Nude Beige. To bronze up the face, I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. I'm going to put this on the forehead near the hairline, on the temples of the face, the hollows of the cheeks, under the jaw, and on the sides of my chin. Also, I'm going to do a little contouring on the nose and yeah, just to give a warmth to my face. This is actually my first purchase of a bronzer and it became a ride or die. This is really, really awesome. One of my favorites, mm, I swear by this. Hey guys, this is my dog. Hi! His name is Mojo's. Hello! Hello, Pedini! He's sleepy now. For blush, well, I'm going to use another Maybelline product again. And this is the Color Show Blush in the shade Creamy Cinema. This is one of my favorites and I love it because it's very subtle but back. Now for the eye look, I'm only going to use one palette and this is the Everbelena Pink palette. So it has 5 shimmers and 1 matte eyeshadow which is this white. This is a very pretty palette, super pigmented and very very affordable as in. I'll basically just use one eyeshadow which is the third one and I'm going to put it all over my eyelids. I'm actually a fan of just using one eyeshadow and just do a lot of blending. So, just keep on blending until you reach your desired intensity. I'm also not a fan of putting eyeliners, so I'm just going to skip to the lashes. I'm going to use this Nichido Eyelash Curler to curl up my lashes up to Jesus. 
and for mascara I'm going to use another Maybelline product this is the hyper curl volume express mascara and this is waterproof So I decided to add a eyeliner on my water lines and this is not the liquid one because I have like I said I have hooded eyes and they're not gonna show up. So another Maybelline product this is the color show eyeliner in black. So yep. For a closer look Let's get with the highlight and for that, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pink Pastic. This is actually a favorite of Catlin Lights again and yeah, this is very pretty. It has a subtle glow and it's very good for an everyday look. And now for the lips, I'm going to be using this Everbellana LCD Liquid Lipstick in Cashmere Blush. I've talked this a lot of times in my channel, well if you are watching my videos. So yeah, this is a favorite of mine. It has a great formula yeah, and it dries to matte. To set everything now on my face, I'm going to use the setting spray from NYX, which is the matte finish. So I'm done! This is the finished look that I did. What do you think? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually did this look a few weeks ago and I just want to recreate it. So give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to start filming makeup looks for you. So yeah, wish me luck. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Laters!